speaking about your family's daycare um, and the children that you feature in your videos, how did that come about? What made you pick up your camera with like, these kids are funny, I got to share this with the world? Okay, so um, it originally started in the pandemic, like right at the beginning. We we originally lived in L.A. Well, we lived in L.A. for about three years. And then when mm -hmm. the it, we moved back to Mississippi because my mom wanted to be closer to family. Nothing was really going on in L.A. So we moved back. And then we start, I like start going to the daycare just to hang out and like just to talk to the kids because, you know, I really didn't have anything else to do. And like the daycare was open and my mom wanted me there to, um, you know, just help out with them if they like needed anything. So then that's how I really started. And as I was talking to the kids and interact with them, like we, I would say I was going there for like a good week and like we were just hanging out, interacting, like they enjoyed having me there. I enjoyed hanging out with them. <laughs> and then just, um, one day I would just pay attention to how they would talk, not just to me, but to each other. And they would say like the funniest things. And I was like, this would be, this would be something <laughs> funny like that. Because, um, especially at a time like this, like the pandemic was just starting and people were very in like dark places. So I feel like it was something that can kind of lift people's spirits in the, um, given the circumstances that we had at the moment. So um, it really came from that. Also, I would watch videos like kids say the darndest things and like mm. all these back videos. And it's kind of, I tried to pull a lot of inspiration from that too in the videos. Yeah, and I definitely agree with you saying how it brought people inspiration. Um, there's clearly a large fan base around you um, and the kids that you interact with. But what was the moment where you kind of knew like, I'm onto something? Do you remember that exact moment or that video where you were like, okay, I, I got this? Honestly, I want to say it was a few videos in because originally I was a con like I was doing content on TikTok. Like I had um, a little bit over a million followers when I uh, started the series because mm -hmm. I was doing it beforehand. But um, whenever I did the series, it was like such a success on my channel. And um, my content before had nothing to do with kids. And to see it have that much success and it's like this isn't the content you expect from me and people are still liking it, loving it, sharing it and doing all this um, other types of stuff. It just made me realize that this is something that people would love to see a lot. Like it was something that people would love to see. Definitely. And how do you decide which kids are going to be featured in the video? Honestly, it just comes from interaction. Well, um, well, there's like, a, it's a bunch of things. One, if their parents are okay with them being in the videos for one and um, two, like just the kids that, um, I talk to and ha and I see like you know the the personalities come out of them yeah. and they, like the like the super creative ones with like all the like big personality and just the the ones that'll talk your head off basically. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm so glad that you mentioned you get parent consent. So I know when you work with kids, sometimes people can be like, "There's their parents on your showing their face online," but you just right. clarified that their parents are all aware that they're in your videos. Right. Yes. Yeah. Um,